Yeah, it's not super windy. That's all I care about. Oh. Yeah, actually, uh, live stream on Twitch. So I'll get like 50 to 200 people watching on the pitch. Really? Yeah. It's funny you can talk to people from all over the world. Oh, oh man, I'd be so scared. The bloop. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a pretty strong mount. I streamed with that for probably 350 hours. And I'll be darn, that is cool. See the sunny I caught. It's huge, you know. Yeah. They say you're supposed to throw the big ones back. Uh huh. It's like man, <laughs> it swallowed this huge popper I had. Oh yeah, it would die anyway probably. I kind of mangled it in the side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Look how big this thing is. I got it with you. Yeah, I'll show the screen. Yeah, that's a nice. Oh yeah. He swallowed a huge popper. Yeah. That northern would be tough. That's awesome. Deboning, but that should be enough for one meal. Chat says hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what what hit the side of that sunny. Oh, it could have been anything. Musky. It's in kind of rough shape and I thought, you know what? I'm yeah. Tommy. It's even got a bad on the other side. Is it? Well, I guess not. Oh. Pretty nice kayak. Does it track pretty well? Yeah. Oh. Guilty, it, oh, I don't feel guilty about it. There's probably about 18 million sunnies in, in Minnesota. Yeah, I know. I caught a 22 and a half inch, uh, 7.1 pound bass the other day. And people were giving me crap to keep them out. I was like, what the? <laughs> it's like, man. It's probably getting old toward the end of its life anyway. It's going to die. I'm going to eat it. It's like it's only a half pound off of a fishing state record. It's like, what am I going to do? I got the bird out of it. Some large mouth tonight. 
Uh, hopefully. Let's see what's in here. It's my first time here. so It's pretty shallow all yeah. around. So, the nicer parts are on that part, so everything's pretty snowfoil. Okay. Except for that far shot, like, you're actually pretty productive on the way you think. Nice. So I, would, I would concentrate on the, the shoreline adjacent to us over here. You'll find a bar up there. Yeah, walleye in here at all? What? A uh, walleye in here at all? Um, I think technically there are. The lake's just so goddamn shallow in most places. Okay. 90% of the lake is under 5 feet. Oh, wow. There's like one 20 foot hole that you could look around for, so. Cool. But Thanks, anyways, man. Yeah, I've caught some nice bass out here, like 45 pounders before. Nice. All around. It's got to oh, All good. around. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dude. Hey, Rotax, how's it going? I know a guy, what's up? All right, got everything. Yep, yeah, we're just getting out here. I was at Bald Eagle Lake prior to this, but it was too busy, so I came here. This is Otter Lake. Thanks to the host, Ninja. This lake looks like a... Not a good boat lake, which is good. It's like, like I said, it's five feet in most places. So that is exactly what I want. Very different from the lake that's right next to it. Hey Shane. Yeah, we got uh, uh we got the battery charge today. Yep, new lake. This is Otter Lake. Pretty shallow. It's mostly five feet. And there's one 20 foot hole, I guess. That's a good sign. I'm seeing a lot of fish move as I get out here. Oh, you've heard of this lake? Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's 12,300 some lakes. I'm sure you have all, all of them memorized by now. We've had a lot of time to study Minnesota. I had all the names memorized by age three. Wow. Nice day though, it's not, not very windy. No, for real, you have heard of that one? Really, the one Otter Lake by White Bear Lake? I'd be amazed if you actually knew, where the, knew about this lake. Let's see, some of the best spots were over here. The guy at the shore was funny. He's like, I can't catch a fish for my life if my life depended on it. <laughs> oh, nice sunny though. I had it on stream at the beginning. Where are we fishing? We're on Otter Lake today. New lake, never been here. A ton of Otter Lakes? Yeah, there are. When you have 12,000 lakes, there's going to be a lot with the same name. Like, there's probably like 30 fish lakes. I, I know at least off the top of my head, five different fish lakes. Hey, thanks for the host. Turn this up. Listening at high volume may damage your hearing. Ugh. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Damage my hearing. Yeah, Round Lake. Round Lake, Fish Lake. Uh, Duck Lake. What else? Actually, it was funny. There's a town, I think it's around Brandon, Minnesota, but there's two, two separate clam lakes, and they're like right next to each other. But they're different lakes. Just 
Spearfishing is legit. Uh, I don't know. I don't spearfish. Oh, this must be the hole. Oh, hell yeah. I just saw that northern. Oof. I've got a good feeling about this. Like, it's a little weedy, but... There's the turtle. The turtle's checking me out. The turtle's like, catch me underwater. Here we go, this looks like the deep spot. Let's try some Ned Rig. The dude that I talked to at the shore, one of them said he caught a couple four or five pound bass this year. Let's see what we get. Beautiful day though. It's not windy at all. It's a little bit warm, but. Oh. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Thanks for the host, Garanti underscore TV. So yeah, turn the camera. Oh, how's everyone doing tonight? What kind of fish today? Uh. Bass, northern. There are walleye in here, he said, but they're really hard to find. Because it's so shallow of a lake. <clears throat> That's funny, that dude said he... Oh, oh, here we go. That guy said he was out here for five hours. Or six hours. And he didn't catch a fish. We got the Noah's on Pike. Oh, I snagged him. What the hell? How did that happen? You got bad aim, buddy. Hey, calm down. Look at this. Never in my entire life have I caught a fish like this. Wow. That's going to be kind of tough to get out. I'm sorry, buddy. Ah. Hey, I didn't make you bite like this. There we go. Hey, don't do it. Don't do it. Well, we got a northern. I, I, they're just the most beautiful fish, man. I love them. Those fins, they just blend in perfectly with the with the weeds down there. Yeah, he got snagged. I had to pull the hook out of his side. That's a good sign. If there's if, if little northern biting the the Ned rig are going for it, that means the big ones will too. That's got to be one of the fastest fish catches to a stream start ever, right? I've been live for been fishing for like two minutes. Oh, hi, young lad. <clears throat> Hope are being safe out on the water and you have safety gear. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a gun with me. That should, that should keep me from drowning. Got to be safe. This is a really nice spot. I can't believe this is so close to the lake I was just at. I was over at just probably, this lake is a stone's throw from that lake. And it's, that lake was super busy. The boat launch was literally, there was a line of boats coming off the lake about six boats long. 
six trailers long. Yep. I may not be the most entertaining person in the world, but at least I catch fish. <clears throat> I just can't believe he got snagged like that on, on this hook. That's so rare. Just look at this. I'm, it's, a, it's a jig hook, really. He must have just... He, <laughs> He basically missed it and. <laughs> hey, thanks for the host. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? It vibrates the kayak so much. Man, you have to be really lucky to catch that many fish. <laughs> yep. Well, that guy who was just here said he was out for five hours and didn't and caught two fish. Hey, what's up? Trey zooted. Yeah, I like it too. I was streaming a lot of Star Wars Battlefront for a while, so I made a lot of Star Wars alerts. Wow, that's a big heron over there. Wow, that is an old heron. That guy's got to have like a seven foot wingspan. Oh, thanks, man. That was funny last night when you were saying your wife catches all the big fish. <laughs> That's how it always goes. I want. I took my nephew fishing once. Uh, I think it was his, it had to have been his first or second time fishing, and he caught a almost a 39-inch northern. Really? That's how it always goes. The, the person who hasn't fished before catches the biggest fish. I've seen that happen so many times, it's unreal. Like, it's uncanny. Once is luck, twice is skill, right? This lake seems to have pretty mild weed cover on the bottom, unlike Bald Eagle Lake. This lake has a milfoil, quite a bit of milfoil. As long as I don't pull up weeds every single time, I'm happy. Oh, had a hit right next to it. You want to bite it? You want it? Yep, he wants it. Oh, oh no! Oh, he hooked into the weeds. Wow, did you see the rod jerking? He ran right into the weeds, and that's what he came up with. That's funny. I think it was a northern. That's classic. Sometimes they'll get it right in the corner of their mouth where the hook sticks out a little bit and they run through the weeds and it snags the hook, takes the hook out of their mouth and leaves it with a pile of weeds. It always happens with northern because they just dart under the depths if they get scared. It's classic. Oh, damn. I think that was a weed snag. It seems to be a pretty good sized lake, too. And there's only kayakers out here. Which is weird, because there is a boat launch. That's so strange. I guess it's because it's shallow. They probably don't want to hurt their props. Fine with me. I've been looking for a good kayak lake. This might be it. 
when you're on the lake with all the boats, it's if it's a big lake, it's not a big deal because you can just find a spot where the people aren't going. But sometimes it gets really annoying. Like last night was not cool. I kind of want to try the, the buzz bait or the chatter bait here. See what happens. I'm gonna go down, down a bit. My Canadian brother. Oof. What a beautiful day. That looks like a big rain cloud, but it's pretty small. Yeah, I was watching, uh, I know a guy stream last night, that was fun. Weed cover gets pretty thick over here. Oh, there's two dragonflies having sex. Oh wow, it's deeper here too. Let's try right here. Try right in these reeds. Just chilling. I should have eaten before I came out. I'm a little hungry. I'm losing so much weight from do doing all this fishing. I've lost like in the past four days, I've lost I think four pounds, four or five pounds. In four days. It's not very good. That's right, I'm not I'm starting a high high protein diet and I'm gonna start going to the gym at least four times a week, so shouldn't be too bad. This lake has the good good type of weeds. It's not the kind that it's not the kind in Bald Eagle Lake that it's like those mucky kind of mucky. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but milfoils what you're looking for, it's this kind of stuff. It's like this type of... How's it going? Alright. Any luck? Uh, one northern so far. I've been on here for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Stream in Arkansas.
Is it true that Arkansas was founded by people who lived in Kansas and they left and then found a new spot and they said, this is our Kansas? Is that the origin story? Yeah, go for it, man. Thanks. Do you have hydrilla weed? I don't think so. Doesn't sound familiar. Yes, in the Irish. Oh, I see fish biting top water back there. Might have to try some popper. What did Tennessee? I think Tennessee was founded by settlers who were traveling around raiding land and they stopped there and they were like this is the only 10 I see What's up, man? Good to see you. We're thrown in by the lily pads. Trying not to snag. What's the new lake? We're on uh, uh, Otter Lake. Otter Lake right now, and so far we got uh, a northern and a bass. Oh, buddy, he was super close to his eye. Look how close the hook is to his eye. Oh, that's close. He got lucky. How you liking it? It's okay so far. I don't know if it has huge fish, but definitely has fish. I hate when they bite like this. It's so hard to get it out. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll go grow up. Hey, it's pot dogs. Yeah, it'll. This guy is probably a half pounder. <laughs> He's teeny tiny. What are all these hot dogs doing in here? This is a fishing stream, not a. Not a mixed beef, pork, and chicken stream. A fish is a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have no problem catching little guys. They're just... As long as you occasionally catch the big guys, too. Patch just into stream. You're a Trump supporter, right? Uh, I don't support all of Trump's policies, but I'm a conservative. Uh, I do like most of the things he's doing. Lily pad. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, thanks for the follow. Whoa, thanks for the follow. Did we get hosted or something? I don't know. I think with Trump, one of the big mistakes people make is 
underestimating his ability to connect with people. Rat! Wow! Whoa. Look at this! Yeah. That's bigger than the last one! Wow! Look at that! Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Hey, you subbed and then followed. Thanks so much, dude. Everdoot, how's it going? You betcha. Six Sage, thanks for the follow. I'm seeing so many top water hits over here. Oh, there's a little hit. Oh, wow. A northern just hit the bait right by the boat. <laughs> he, like, missed it again, though. I don't know. Like It's like the northern and the slake are blind. The first northern I caught, I snagged him, half, like, literally in the middle of his body. I've never once had that happen. Weirdest thing. So I tried today to stream at in Hastings, Minnesota, on the Mississippi River, but uh, got no coverage there at all, and the waves were super big. I probably would have not had a good time. So I came here. Yeah, northern and a bass so far. Been out here for like 15 minutes. Trump's immigration policy is what America needs. It's not, that, see, that's the thing. It's not Trump's immigration policy. Trump is just enforcing the laws that are, that have been around forever. Like, Hillary Clinton, not two years ago, said in an interview that, Im, like, immigrant children shouldn't be expected to, to stay. And, like, we should fund a wall and, like, all this stuff. Like, what he's saying is nothing new. They're just demonizing it. That's what always happens. But, yeah, we don't have to talk about politics. I'm here to relax and fish. I don't know what the depth is here, but I think it's about five to seven feet. Let's talk about Granty underscore TV. Whoa. Everyone say their favorite thing about Granty. Rat. Wow. Oh, thanks for the sun, man. Yeah. That's bigger than the last one. Wow. Look at that. Oh, I think I missed the hook set because of the sub. <laughs> I had a hit. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, everyone rate rate Granty's beauty on a scale of of immaculate to like god level beauty. Oh, that's your favorite thing? You're so sweet. Thanks so much for the subs, guys. You're awesome. Oh. Literally every sub buys me a pack of um, Z-Man plastics. <laughs> That's no joke. That helps a lot. These plastics are awesome. If you guys... I'm not sponsored by Z-Man. I'd love to be, but their plastics are amazing. It's like it's one of the few companies I've tried that they advertise they're ten times stronger than most plastics, and it seems to be true. Thanks for the follow, Pizza Queen. Ooh. Oh man. Us is us. I felt like a turtle grabbing my my bait or something. Oh, that crappie bit right by the boat. Oh, he's off. No. 
Damn, he shot up. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. He shot up from the dark like a bullet. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I had to, Did you see it? Oh, it's off the camera. It was like right here. <laughs> that was a nice crappie. He shot up like a bullet. I already had my line reeled in too much. So he just came up and he was on, but crappie have paper, like paper mouths. So the hooks can come out of him real easy. He's flapping around. I couldn't believe that. He came up like a freight train. Man, now I just want to jig by the kayak. That was fun to watch. He came darting out of those weeds. Uh, wasn't too for the kayak. Counts to catch. Okay, that's good. I mean, yeah, I, I could have got him in, but I had my I had my line like this far up already, so he bit, and I was already lifting it up, so I had him up, and he just shook and fell off. But it was a it was like an eight inch, nine inch crappie. Not bad. I don't really like fishing streams. Oh, thank you. Well, the worst thing is. Like, people, I think people think you can just go out and fish. Like, the people that I follow on Twitch who fish are actually entertaining, like, Granty underscore TV, I know a guy, Heroxidic, Alec Ludford, all those guys. They're actually entertaining. Some guys I see, they just go out and, f and fish, or, like, they either don't catch anything, they don't talk to the chat, they, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ninja Slayer God just got affiliate, by the way. You should go follow him. I think I only have like six mods or seven mods. Hey, Rocky hosted. Hell yeah. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? I miss the crappie, dang it. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Wow. I do not deserve that. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you so much. That's going to keep me in Z-Man plastics for quite a while. Oh, another northern had it right there. Damn it. These fish are just eating this up. Had a little baby northern right there and he let go on a weed. Thanks so much, Joe. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Means a lot. Brett, wow. Whoa. Look at this. <laughs> Bigger than the last one. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Welcome to the bass holes. I get a lot of trails coming on this bait. Like when you get it out, you can see it coming back. And I can see there's a crappie sitting right there looking at it. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. Oh. <laughs> so I already saw that's fine, dude. Thanks so much for subbing.
Oh wow. I think, uh, I don't know what that was, but it's, it popped the bait out of the water. Might have been a crappie. Are you kidding me? So many fish are, I've gotten like six hits in the last two minutes. Yeah, I was watching uh, Rocky Loot on the ocean today. That's cool. Correct. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Yeah. That's bigger than the last one. Wow. Look at that. Thanks for killing me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it. It means a lot. Ooh, every sub really helps. Sub train. The best kind of train. Yeah, thanks, man. Rocky, when you jumped in the ocean, I was like... That triggered my, uh, my fear of the ocean. Something awful. <laughs> Just, ugh. When I was like eight... I was in the Gulf of Mexico and a bull shark came like 10 feet away and my parents freaked out and like pulled me out of the water and ever since then I've had like a weird fear of the Gulf of Mexico. Oh. Oh man. These little northern are aggressive here but they're they're all blind. I keep getting these big hits but they don't it's like they're missing it. Look at this. These crappie are just crazy. They always bite by the boat. Look at this. 360 degrees of crappie. Man. So this is why this is why crappie always get off the hook. You can see they got paper mouths. You see how thin the skin around their mouth is? It's super thin, so the hook, it's literally just like, it's, it's like a membrane. So, the, the hook just pops right out if it's not, like if they shake around too much. And they very rarely swallow it because their, his throat is right here on his body. That's where his throat is. So, the hook has to go all the way down to swallow it. So, crappie very, very rarely swallow, but beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, he's like yeah, eight, eight, nine inches, not a bad fish. I may start keeping crappies, who knows? I like to keep them when they're about ten inches. That's a that's a good eater. It's so weird that they're just biting right by the by the right by the kayak. It's like they like it when it gets in higher, uh, uh, higher depth, or I guess a lower depth. Huh. Oh wow! I, can't, I must have cast right on top of a bass. I saw a bass jump the second the bait hit the water. I almost wish there was a breeze or something, man. If I see you catch a fish, I'll say, I just caught a fish. <laughs> Did you step away? I literally just caught one. We went out snorkeling while stationed in Thailand and got too close to a tiger. Oh yeah, tigers, God, they're, they're like the trash cans of the, the ocean, they'll eat anything. Oh, talking about Granty. I've seen Granty catch some fish, but Granty's, I always tell Granty, he needs to, he needs to go to a better body of water. That river is not, there's too many boats, too many, too much activity. And I looked up the, the fish getting caught in that river lately. It's nothing crazy. It's certainly nothing to, you know, it's no reason to go back twice, but 
Uh, yeah, just it's all about really like where you go. I feel so bad for that dude who was here though. He was he said he was up for five hours and he caught two fish. Uh oh. Looks like we got some trolls in Discord. Some wonderful people in Discord. Uh, Granty, I think you're a mod in Discord. If you're not, let me know. Some people like to watch the world burn. Oh man. Yeah. How sad is that? I'll fix it. Hold on. Oh, must have found some of the GGX gang. Oh. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoops. Probably want to do that a different way. Message. Oh well. Man. What an asshole. That's kind of why I, why I didn't want to make a Discord for a while. But, oh, uh, what's whatever. It's worth it. Boy, I keep getting these little micro hits. It's like it's not weeds because it's pulling the line to the side. I'm using a Ned rig. It's a Z-Man plastic with a. Uh, it's not the Z-Man hook this time because they were sold out. It's like a. I actually kind of like this hook better a little bit than the Z-Man one because uh, it has a stronger hook holder, a worm holder on there. That's just a jig hook. There we go. Thanks for the follow. Weighted jig hook. You can't do shit. Oh, here, I'm all... Oh, hold on. Let's see. Granty TV. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? I actually have to. Oh. One second. Channel settings button. Damn, it's also under that. Alright, hold on, I gotta pull the camera off. I'm gonna do some some work here real quick. 
Members. I should have done this before. Guarantee. There we go. Uh, um, I can check that. Maybe that one? Okay. Um, you should be able to. Uh, I should be able to ban people now. Maybe. Thanks for the follow. Huh. Let me know if you can do that. Yeah, that's annoying. Sorry, I usually do this beforehand. That's the difference between the wide angle lens. And these dragonflies are just having orgies out here. Yeah, I know. Believe me, after modding Alex's channel for a year now, whew, some people just have no self-confidence, no meaning whatsoever. That's okay. kind of get where they're coming from too though like I've been a troll at times it's fun to get under people's skin occasionally but I like that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> my buddy <laughs> my buddy Kai just messaged me oh man Maybe he'll open the stream. Granty, can you message uh, Kai in the Discord and tell him to open my stream? Yeah. Looks like a sparrow. Oh. Looks like a sparrow, huh? Maybe this moss? All right, we're gonna move down down a little bit. Thank you, Grantee. That's the only reason I'd ever want a, a second phone. I was thinking about getting a second phone and like putting it right here so I can like do stuff. I could use I could use a GPS depth finder too. Yeah, my sister has a tattoo of a red-winged blackbird on her shoulder. No, it's a gooseneck mount that's clipped on. And then it goes underneath the bungee cables in the front. So it's pretty secure. I've been on the, the Mississippi River. Like, it's super stable. The clip right here keeps it from wiggling, and then the bungee cords keep it from bouncing. So, very, very stable. Let's 
seeing so many fish move as I come by them. What have we caught so far? We got two two bass. I'm, <laughs> I'm counting the bass that was like right here. Two bass, two crappie, and northern. In like 30 minutes of fishing. I think I had the camera on when I started for like 20 minutes. Ooh, this looks good. It's pretty deep here. This might. This might actually be the 20 foot hole. This is fairly deep. Uh. Yeah, and that was actually, it's funny, kayaks go on sale in the springtime usually. Unlike, like, most times when products are in demand, they don't put them on sale, but they're so competitive and there's so many of them that they actually do get pretty good sales in the springtime. What is this? Weed. Kayak fishing is a lot of fun. And like, so on a lake like this, that's like five feet deep max, you wouldn't really want to bring a boat out here. That's why there aren't many boats here. There's some pontoons, but a normal fishing boat, you'd risk uh, killing your crop every few seconds. I'm using a Pelican Tracker Angler, which, uh, I don't, I don't believe it's still available, but they have something like it. Oh man, big bass just ate a like ate a bug right in front of me. Jeez, that was cool. <laughs> man, I'm getting hot. Some water. Always bring water when you're kayaking. Ugh, oof. Good old great value purified drinking water. I kind of want to put a frog on and try in these lily pads. I can't tell you how many times I've seen fish top water hit right in this area. Here, let's try the... Yeah, but it's, it's like a fishing shirt. It's like a super lightweight material. It actually keeps you pretty cool, but it's just 85 degrees and no breeze. This lake is just glass, though. Let's see if I can answer the phone. Hello? Good, you're on stream. Are they still doing it? Here, actually, did you get a message from Granty underscore TV or Granty? Uh, can you make no problem? Can you uh, mod Granty, like make sure he has the ability to ban and kick people and stuff? Hey, 
right. You working right now or what? Or on Saturday? All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's a scammer. Yeah, I should do uh I should do what Kit Boga does except on the kayak. Mix it up. Fish well talking to Indian scammers. Hey, good luck, man. Thanks so much. Thanks for hanging out. What if you fell in the water? Uh, I'd get pretty wet. This is some super wet water. Look at that. It's like very drippy. I don't know, I'd probably get pretty wet. Can't say for certain though. Ever fish Lake of the Woods? Just once. And I think I caught a walleye and I think it was like a walleye and a bluegill. I was pretty young. Any alligators there? Uh, yeah, we have really weird alligators here in Minnesota. They're like, they call them ice skaters. They love the cold weather. Yeah, I could get back in. Uh, all you gotta do, like, the worst part would be this, probably the, <laughs> losing the stuff. I don't know. I wouldn't, it's funny, if I tipped, I probably wouldn't lose my phone because it's, it's clamped in. But, um, what would fall off? My life jacket would, would stay. My fishing rod would probably go. The tackle bag might go, depending on how violently it, what the fuck, there's like two flies mating right here. Jesus, it's like, this lake is just bug sex. Um, the tackle bag would probably go, the water jug I don't care about, the speaker would go, I don't know if that floats, but yeah, so how you get back in is you flip it totally upside down, and then you grab it, like you crawl over it, grab it from the far side, and then pull it back the, uh, the right way, and then try and get your butt in. Ooh, what's this? What is this, big weed? This feels like big weed, yep. It's so creepy, you see it like this big mass rising up from the bottom, bubbles coming up. Yeah, it's a bug orgy on this lake, it's crazy. There's like flies having sex right here. Like doggy style fly sex literally happening right here. You already fall off it? No, I haven't. <laughs> Devil's Lake. <laughs> uh, so that actually did happen once because like an alligator could survive in, in a Minnesota lake in the summer, but not in the winter. And there was, I don't know, you can try and Google the news story. Put a popper on. I feel like this would be a really good popping area. First, I'm gonna go over here. Oh no, poor connection. I 
shouldn't have core connection here at all. It is. There are so many flies having sex. That is creepy. Yeah, it really is. Biggest thing about kayak fishing is you're sitting down, unless you get a standing kayak, but you're sitting down. So you want a good seat, good lumbar support, and yeah, it's all about utilizing space. Hey, mind flights, thanks for the follow. You get to like, utilize your space properly. Oh yeah, the view is great. It's always great. Yep. Never gets old. Last night, like, it's... Oh, a beaver. A beaver. Let's get him on camera. Right over here. See him? Maybe it's a... No, well, he went under. He'll come up, though. There he is. Probably a little hard to see him over there, but... He's right in front. See him moving under the reeds because he's bumping the reeds. There he is. Could be a muskrat, actually. I think it's a muskrat. See him? He's moving straight ahead of us. He's behind the reeds. No, uh, I don't know what that is. Is it a muskrat? I think it's a. No, uh, I don't know. It could be a baby beaver. It's either a baby beaver or a muskrat. Oh, were you guys unable to see him? Damn. Where is he? Yeah, he's back in the thick stuff. So cute. Are oh, you saw him? Cool. Cool, cool. All I could see was his head. Couldn't tell if it was a muskrat or a beaver. Or it could have been an otter, but as far as I know, that there aren't any river otters in here. Thanks for the follows, guys. Look at those dragonflies. You see them? They're having sex. Like every insect on this lake is having sex. Yeah, this must be the 20-foot drop that was foretold. Must be it. We're gonna try some deeper water nid rig and then we're gonna switch to the popper. Man, it feels like it's so much later than it is because of those clouds. The sun is still really high in the sky. How's it going, Dirty 30? Turned on the stream, talking with Granty now. Cool. What's that sound? Uh, it's probably... That sound is a frog. But there's a bunch of red-winged blackbirds right there. Tell me about that. 
pretty sure it's a frog. It almost sounds like a heron, but I'm pretty sure it's a frog. Hey, I know a girl three. What's up? Yeah, it's it's got to be a frog because I hear multiple throughout here. Hey, Jordan. Good. So far, we got a. Uh, Let's see, what do we got? Two bass, two crappie, a northern. Some trolls in Discord and a bunch of follows, subs. <clears throat> Been great. How are you feeling? I'm not sure what that is. I'm curious now. Very curious. All right, let's head over to the reeds. Play. You're sleeping this whole time. Ooh. Big bass hit right over there. You want this? Yep, he does. Oh boy. Oh no! Is he off? Oh, no, he's on. What? No, he's off. What was that? He didn't take my bait. Like, he didn't break it. Hit him. Is it a sunny? You bring some ginger ale and soup home? Yeah. It's not legal in Belgium to do kayak fishing. What? Why? What was that? Is that sunny? Why would it not be legal? What possible reason could they have against kayak fishing? It's like the most like sustainable like, from a conservation standpoint, it's amazing because you don't have a gasoline motor, you don't have a propeller, it's quiet, you don't, interrupt, like, disrupt wildlife. It's great. <clears throat> Can't see a reason to not have it. Falling off and died. Oh, Jesus. Why is it in Europe, like, Europe is, tends to be so authoritarian when it comes to, like, s keeping people safe. It's like, Europeans are just going to end up locked in a padded room. So dumb. Yeah, that's why you use, like... Instead of making kayak fishing illegal, just make it mandatory that you wear a life jacket or something. It's like, come on. That's crazy. It's not legal to go on a lake like that. Lake really widens out over here. It's a lot bigger. All right, what do you think? Should we try top water? You guys are the top water enthusiasts. You can fall off a normal boat too. Yeah, you can fall off the stairs in front of your house. Like life is dangerous. The answer is not to keep people so safe that you take the joy out of life. What up, beach? Five fish so far, a couple, actually a bunch that got off. We're on a new lake today. We're on Otter Lake. I think we've seen an otter already. 
Alex, thanks for the follow. He's trying to find some hot spots. Back there is a bunch of little stuff biting, a bunch of little pike and bass. Trying to find out where the big ones are. Trying to find the old guys. It's pretty weedy over here. Oh, I smell a campfire. Oh God, it's so nice. I think I'm gonna make a fire and have some s'mores when I get home. How long do you do that already, kayak fishing? What do you mean, like how long do I go out for or how long have I been kayak fishing like in my life? Today I've been out since, so I've been live for an hour. And any pikes? Yeah, I've caught, uh, caught one already. Snagged it, which is really weird. Never, never in my whole life have I snagged a pike like that. Oh, there's another beaver. Is that a muskrat or a beaver? That's a beaver. I just saw his tail. Huh. That's so cool. He's hauling a big piece of branch. So funny. They're always working. How many years? Uh, I bought this kayak last year. But I've kayaked pretty much my whole life. I just never owned one. I always used them at campgrounds and I used to live on a campground as a kid for a while and I used all their boats. No, he was tiny. That's why I moved. I'm trying to catch his grandpa. When I got here, there's a guy who had kayak fish for like five hours and he caught two fish. He had a Maybe a 22 inch pike and a pretty good sized bluegill. But I aim for big pike here in Sweden. We had low pressure here for some time. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it gets pretty crazy when the. On days like today when it's hot and there's no wind, it's hard to tell how they're going to bite. They've been pretty good. At least the. The crappie have been hitting pretty hard, so I I've had four crappie. Two of them I got in the boat, but uh, a bunch of them just bit right as I got the bait right by the boat. So many B words. Oh, there's a strike right there. Come on. Yeah, I I don't know. I would, I guess I'd like to have a fish finder, but on time, at times like that, it kind of sucks because like you know they're there, but they're just not hitting. See the beaver behind me? Is that what that was? Hey, thanks for the follow, Tassis Kano, Tassis Kano. What time is it? It is. I'll put my paddle up here so I can see. 709. Throwing five ounces of baits for like 10 hours? Jeez. Yeah, this is a. That would suck. This is a one sixth ounce jig. This feels like nothing. Oh. Angry Doge. Two at night. In Belgium, does it does it stay light for quite a while around this time of year? 
I got a friend in Finland and he said it stays light for like 20 hours or 22 hours. I know Belgium's a lot farther south, but. Still insect sex on the kayak. This is like the, it's like the Viking sex boat right now. Stays late till 10, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's gotta be awesome for fishing. Oh man, there's just like a cool breeze. Oh, it feels so good, wow. Messes with one's head, I bet. <clears throat> I've had friends who go work in the oil industry in Alaska, and when it's light for 23 hours a day, they say it's like basically just sleep whenever. Just sleep whenever you get tired. Those guys are fishing right in the middle. Oh, we got five fish so far and a bunch of bites. Tons of bites. The crappie have been hitting this jig pretty hard. What are you doing, skeptical? <clears throat> Isn't it weird though? I've been streaming now for a year. Today is the first time that we've had like a, gr a group of trolls like that. <clears throat> that sucks. I guess it could be worse, but it's the first time. Try out in this deep water. Those guys just are throwing spinners out in the deep. <clears throat> and I don't know what it's like on that end of the lake. I might save that for another day. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there's just some people in Discord. Some low energy losers. I'm gonna put on some music, get some tunes. Very disgusting. Yeah, I caught that first pike like on my second cast. This worm has now caught probably 35 fish. This thing has seen some shit. And you know, there's gotta be big ones in here. On a lake like this, on a weekend, if it's not being fished very heavily, it, it doesn't get fished heavily during the week. So, and there's quite a few small fish, which means there's gotta be big fish. Because they don't stock pike. They certainly, to my knowledge, they don't stock pike. So if they're little ones, they're breeding. Should we try some chatterbait? Oh. Let's give it a shot. I don't know though, what do you think? Frog or chatterbait? What do we think? I 
do have a popper as well. Let's try the chatterbait with no leader. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't use custom expensive baits if you don't if you're not willing to lose them. That's for sure. That is for certain. One time I bought a brand new Rapala. It's like a nine dollar Rapala, and I go out and cast out, and a pike just tears it off. Ugh, it's never fun, but sarcastic hopefully but not usually I've seen monster fish caught on like bubble gum on a stick <laughs> but expensive baits certainly have more advertising behind them that's that's the case usually yeah, I'll never forget it one time I was in a fishing tournament as a kid and I, t I got a chance to talk to Al Linder who was like a He's like a famous Minnesota walleye fisherman, but uh, I was joking with him about how like these infomercials on TV, um, how they like make baits out to be the second coming of Christ. You try it and it's average at best. Yeah, I'm going for like bass or walleye. The guy that I talked to uh, initially here said there are, he's pulled out some four or five pound bass pretty regularly so we're trying to get those guys I could get crappies all day but we're trying to get the, the big boys hey shock how's it going yeah we're on Otter Lake today there's like 65 lakes in my vicinity, so I'm trying to get to most of them this summer. Doing well. Got five fish so far. I had a bunch of crappie jump off. It was, it was kind of funny. Like, I had the bait right by the boat, and these crappie will come up and just hit it like a freight train. And they got those paper, paper lips, so they'll fly off the hook. They'll jump way up, and <laughs> it's so goofy. Otter then? Did I say that? I said it was on Otter Lake. Otter. There we go. Oh. Oh man. He struck, but he didn't get. See, that's why I got this big hook on. I'm gonna, it kind of deters the smaller crappie from hitting, but the bass can still hit. We're just gonna do a slow retrieve. Yeah, this has got to be the 20 foot drop right here. Going to bed, perch fishing tomorrow. Hell yeah. Here in Sweden, we say skidfiski. Skidfiski. It translates to shit fishing for good luck, since wishing someone good luck in a, is a big no no in the fishing world. <laughs> nice. It's like break a leg. Have fun tomorrow, dude. That sounds like a good time.
Oh, look at this, boys. We got some grade A salad. Some pristine salad. Oh yeah, man, it's always nice out here, unless it's raining. It, cool, it cooled way down, too. There's just like this light, cool breeze, and then now it feels a lot cooler. I'll take it. I just goggled, and where I live, we have over 250k lakes. Yep. I told you, man, Ontario's nuts. If you're willing to drive an hour away, you'll have, like, crazy potential. If you can find a spot that's got like cell phone coverage as well as fish, oh man. That'd be fun to watch. Yeah, Minnesota's got 12,000 some lakes. Wisconsin's got 12,000 some lakes. It's crazy. This glacial, like, it's called the Glacial Trail. It's like where the the glaciers plowed through and left these lakes behind. But Manitoba, Ontario, I think it stops in Iowa. Or it may actually stop in middle, central Minnesota, but yeah, I think it's central Minnesota and central Wisconsin is where it stops. I'm happy for the glaciers though, that's why we get this lovely water. Nice and clean. <clears throat> oh yeah, Manitoba is unreal. If you look at Manitoba on Google Maps, just there's, oh, the amount of water. Crazy. I think your phone auto autocorrect changed number one should be number two. Ooh. Hello there. I'm gonna try this buzz bait right here by these weeds. <clears throat> Next to no bass, really? What do you have? Southern Manitoba. That doesn't seem right. What do you have? Oh, this is so cool, I can see it. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a it's a Columbia hat super super cool like walleye and catfish okay walleye are good walleye are fantastic perch yeah that's granty i think said perch are not in the same family as walleye i thought they were i was mistaken Perch are in the pike family. Is that accurate? Ooh. Moving out to Ontario next year as I, as I plan on targeting a bunch of bass. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really jealous of the sheer volume. I mean, there are worse states to be in. Like, I went to college in Oklahoma, and Oklahoma can be a good deer hunting state in certain parts, but the fishing is absolutely terrible. There's all these man-made lakes, like Lake Texoma, and it's all clay-filled. It's just gross. Very gross.
water in this lake is pretty clean compared to to uh, what? Uh, not white bear, bald eagle. This is a good example of how like every lake, like this lake is literally a hundred yards from bald eagle lake. Like if you go that way and go through the woods a hundred yards, uh, it'll be a bald eagle lake roughly. And the water quality here is so different. And the weed, like the weed structures are totally different too. It's just We're at home itching to fish. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like fishing on Twitch too. Master Skywalker. Hey, thanks There's for the host. There's too many of them. What are we yeah, going to do? I love offshore fishing. Did manage to pull a decent bass out of that gross pond we used to hit. Yeah. I mean, if they're there, I'll catch them, but... Oof. We're using to film. Uh, it's a super old uh, VHS camcorder. I just rigged it up for Wi-Fi. No, it's a Note 8, Samsung Note 8. Um, favorite fish to catch in Minnesota is the walleye. For sure. Well, no, you said to catch. Very fish to catch has got to be, got to be northern. They fight so well. But favorite fish to eat is walleye. Most fish seek deep, cooler water. Yep. Now it's it's getting towards evening. We're gonna we're gonna start seeing the pike come. You hear that loon back there? There's a pike perch, but perch themselves are not in the pike family. Okay. Are they in the walleye family? I think we're going to go back to Ned Riggin back in that swamp. I don't mind catching crappies. If I get like five, if you know, if, I might start keeping crappies. The cool thing about crappies is you can, you can put a, a, uh, a rope through their, their super thin lips and just keep them for a while. And if you don't catch enough, you can let them go and they'll be perfectly fine if you put them on a stringer. Pickwick Lake. Back to the Ned Rig. Once it gets a little bit later, I might try the, the worm. Hey, the real boogie kid, thanks for following. Yeah, my friend Kai and I used to try ocean fishing a lot on like spring break and stuff. And I try and get him to come out here fishing, but he's always busy. But um, we tried quite a bit of ocean fishing and it wasn't ever super successful. I'm really filled with crappies. Oh yeah. Crappies are just voracious. If, like if you get in a hungry school of crappies, I've gotten two on one treble hook before. <laughs> Granty, didn't you get two fish on one hook recently? Who was that? Somebody was streaming fishing and they got two fish on one. Is that you? Tell me about how hard it is fishing the ocean. <laughs> yeah, uh... I've been trying to get Crab Ninja into ocean fishing. He he was watching um, Rocky Loot today and was explaining to him what ocean fishing is like. He's he's not really into fishing, so <laughs> I 
Thanks, what are you gonna use for bait? No, I'm just kidding, Crab Ninja is a professional fisherman, basically, a professional crabber, if I'm not mistaken. He streams sometimes out on his, his work boat. <laughs> the hot weather has been tough. Hey, thanks for the follow. Set them out in the sun for hours. I've heard that, yeah. Like, who was it? Was it was either um, Lil Ed or maybe it was Ninja. Someone was saying they, they used to put shrimp in a, a plastic bag and leave it in their garage for like a week and then use it. Like a sealed plastic bag out in the heat. And they'd use it after that. And I was just thinking, like, oh. Man. We don't live an hour apart. We live like 25 minutes apart. <laughs> it's an hour both ways, maybe. You <laughs> an hour north of Minneapolis is Pine City, not Cottage Grove. Smell be horrific. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That does not sound appealing. Oh, maybe. I mean, I, I, I'd still say Alec Ludford is quite high up there. But I'm not. My goal is not to be the most popular. It's just to fish and show people fishing. That's all it is. This is where we're catching those crappies. I'm gonna try and get into those guys again. F. It's fine to me. Why are you effing? Are we down? Oh, great. My mods are trolling me. Good form. Thank you. Working fine. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why there aren't more people out here. This is really strange. I'll take it, but... How's it going, Surfazer? What's up? I need to check and see if uh, Spud FPS is still subbed. He was my first sub. Oop. Oh man, we had an instant hit. That's been a crappie. We're on Otter Lake. First time on Otter Lake. So far it's been great. Hit the weed line. Hello from Brazil. How's it going? Brazil. I'd like to visit Brazil. I bet the fishing in Brazil has got to be insane. Like the those rivers. That'd be so cool.
can see some crappie down here. Let's see if they want to bite a plastic worm. Here in the Amazonia River, we have the Arvado Tuku Largo fish. Oh, cool. You should whisper me that. I'll look it up later. Put, in, put a picture in the Discord. <laughs> Crappie trying to bite my line. <laughs> They're so topwater focused. Makes sense though with all the insects. Hey, what's up? You're also from Brazil. Cool. See, this is why I like streaming. It's so it's so awesome. Like, in the past, you'd never get people seeing each other fish like this. Like, we need some some IRL streamers from Brazil. So cool. Ugh, it's like I have a bug in my ear. That is the worst feeling. Ugh, man, it's like itching. There we go. Laying eggs in my ear. That's probably the one reason I wouldn't want to go to Brazil is all the freaking crazy insects. Uh, big old braided line. Thanks, man. Gracias. Let's go back in here a little further. Let's see what the depth is. Yeah, go ahead. There's a section of a section in Discord for pictures. Get a parasite, yeah. Isn't there like a parasite that crawls up your like urethra? <laughs> we don't have that in Minnesota. The <laughs> the uh, cold weather keeps crazy things like that from from happening. Ooh, there's a bunch of fish trails over here. Fish trails are like when you're paddling along and you'll see the water kind of ripple in one direction. I don't do it really. I put my paddle up usually. There's a turtle looking at me. Might be able to see him. Right there. See him? His head's poking up out of the water. <laughs> He's like, I saw a worm go by. Was that you? Imagine having a parasite in your penis. That would be terrible. I mean, a parasite anywhere. Like, I hate the thought of parasites. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? 
Hey, Mickey's TV. Thanks for the host. Yeah, Mickey's took a trip down to Columbia. I bet he got all kinds of urethra parasites down there. That's gotta be crazy. Columbia. Well, poor connection. Let's go back over. I'm gonna go back over to that first spot. That guy that I talked to initially said that the best spot is um, right on this end, down here. I just want like a three pound bass, that'd be nice. Three or four pound bass. I wouldn't scoff at an eight, eight pound bass, but. I really want to go back to that lake that I caught that big one on, but the cell reception is so bad. Probably won't stream. Maybe I'll take video. That'd be kind of cool. I'll try a video upload. Crappie. I'm gonna try right here. Hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow, dude. Right now we're going for whatever bites the nid rig in this deeper swamp water. Not really swamp, but like reed water. I don't think people can stream offshore when I'm like 25, 30 miles. No connectivity once you get past seven miles. Yeah, so it's all about, um, there are certain spots, especially on the East Coast where they have offshore cell towers and you just gotta know where they are. Like certain, it's usually by cities, but heavily trafficked areas. It's like a safety, it's an extra safety feature to have cell service. But... Yep, we got five fish so far and like eight bites. It's a lot of these little, uh, little guys. First time on this lake, so we're just figuring out what works, what doesn't work. Every lake is different. I've been to some lakes where the Ned Rig works, like on Lake Elmo where I usually go, the Ned Rig works fantastic out there. And then other lakes doesn't work at all, and then some lakes the chatterbait works, some lakes the... It's all about whatever the primary food source is. Yeah, I was gonna say Crab Ninja uh, streams out in his boat. He gets really good service, but that's California, so. Yeah, I have a VHS radio and a satellite phone. Good old VHS tapes. I wonder how streaming from satellite internet would work. It'd probably be a huge delay, but it, I imagine it would work. What is this? Been floating is a weed. That's a snail. He streams quite a bit.
he does like he does streams on his boat, which is pretty interesting. And then he'll fish off the shore. <laughs> hey, Parasitic, thanks for the host. Walker. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Paroxidic with the big host. How's it going, man? I was fishing. Saw you out there catching the big trout. The big one. It's the big one. What the heck? That was weird. Mark, hey, thanks for those. There are too many of them. What are we going to fish. do? Wow. We got five so far. Did you switch to fishing on the creek or were you, were you uh, fishing on the kayak in that pond? Hey Joey, what's up? Twenty plus fish. Okay. Yeah, creek fishing is awesome. The fish come to you. I wish I had creeks like that around here. There's gotta be something. I gotta I gotta do research. I'd like to fly fish. I'll show you crazy fuck, how are ya? How are ya? Stream for 10 hours, Jesus. <laughs> well, you're averaging two fish an hour, that's not bad. Yeah, crab ninja is awesome. Do you ever float fish? Nope. Are you talking about like using those floaters? Like where you put your legs in them? Hey, Shepard, what's up? We're out here in a beautiful evening trying to catch some. Decent size crappie or bass. Ugh. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, there's a plane carrying a sign. What does it say? Yeah, the fish were biting really well earlier. It's been, it's been a little slow. What is that sign for? Oh, there's the beaver. Oh, he dove. What is that sign? Oh, it's backwards. Crap. Oh. Let's see if we can get the beaver. What does that say? Avengers? That's an, I don't know what the hell it is. 
beaver go? What kind of fish? We got northern pike, bass, walleye, crappie, sunfish, muskie. Um, pretty standard Minnesota lake. Where did he go? There he is. He's back in the reeds. Oh, he's building his house right there. Let's go check out his house. We won't get too close. It's pretty dark, so it might be hard to see, but. Yeah, you might see him here. I'll just kind of sit. That's the beginning of his new dam right there. See him back in there. There he is. Moving the reeds. That's so funny. I can see the reeds moving up top. <laughs> it's like in Jurassic Park with the velociraptors. See if we can Ned rig some bass out of here. Hey, Eldwin, thanks for the follow. He's camera shy. So we're using the Z-Man Ned rig today, which is that right there. Whoa. Coming at you. I need to make it so you can stream in 3D. Hear him back there? Yeah, that'd be so cool. A 3D underwater camera, I think, would be awesome. That would be the best. There he is. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's right here. Baby beaver just popped out right here. He went down right in front of the kayak. He was six feet away. Damn it. Here, we'll see if he comes out. Hold on. There he is. See him over there? He's swimming away. He's right in front, right about now, pretty kind of far away, but there he goes. Yeah, he's a baby beaver, he's probably a yearling. Oh, I like beavers, they're cool. Oh, I got... Whoa, I let my bait drop into the, into the depths. You saw him? Cool. Keep an eye behind me. You'll probably see him in the reeds. They're building their dam right behind me, so they're coming back and forth with supplies. They're going to Beaver Home Depot.
Oh damn, that was a hit into the weeds. Oh, we're using the Z-Man Ned Rig right now. It's a half Plinko on a jig hook. Oh, there's a turtle in front of me. Sorry, turtle, not for you. Home Cheapo. Where do you buy your home supplies? Hey, thanks for the follow. Clip that fish. Nice name. Clip that fish. Let's go back to the other spot. Actually, should we try the other side? Let's see what's over there. Let's check it out. Stop disrupting the beavers. Yeah, we've got five fish so far out here for about an hour and a half worth of fishing new lake beautiful lake just super shallow hey Jeff thanks for the follow I could have kept two of those crappie, but I threw them back. I'm not in the mood to go home and fillet like five or six crappie up. Maybe tomorrow. Thank you. You didn't see the last clip? Oh, nice. Hey, Mojo, thanks for the follow. Yeah, you mean the seven pound bass? Ooh. Yeah, so the, the Minnesota state record bass is eight pounds, 15 ounces, 23 inches. Mine was 7.1 pounds, 22 and a half inches. That was pretty exciting. I was like this close to turning off the stream right before that. Uh. Alright, we're gonna see what's over here. This whole lake is kind of a giant five foot deep, like, except for that end for a little bit. It's like a giant five foot deep, kind of medium weed quality, clear water lake. Will you keep a bass if he's a keeper? Ah, uh, maybe. If it's a big one. Or like eating, I don't really eat largemouth bass too much, but uh, if it's between 16 and 20 inches, that's kind of the. Even 12, well, 12 to 18 is where they taste the best, but. Here in New England, Rhode Island records like 16 pounds. Yeah, every state is different. Like, it's. Georgia is like 22 pounds. But the bass don't get very big in Minnesota just because of the cold. So that was the definitely the fish of fish of my lifetime for sure. As far as bass goes. I'll take it. <sighs> That's kind of the thing, like you don't know how many fish, they only talk about the record fish. Like if it's not a record, they don't really keep track of it. So 
You don't know how many fish get close. As far as I know, they don't. So it's really hard to tell how, how many fish are actually close to the record, which makes it hard to tell how rare the fish really is, but... Uh, how far down can you see? I can see the bottom. It's only five, four to five feet here. We're just going for some crappie. 22, yeah, 22 pound largemouth bass is like, it's like a freak of nature. You see some of those lunkers in, even in Texas they can get pretty big, but I don't know what the Texas record is. I know Georgia is like 22 pounds, 10 ounces or, or kind of right, uh, right around that. But I can't even, can't even imagine. Do you sometimes fish for food? Yeah, I do. I love walleye. Like, I, I totally target walleye. Oh. <laughs> Crappie, like, had the bait and let go right by the boat. That's... Let's try that again. I in Saskatchewan last year pulling 20 to 30 pound lake trout. Damn. Yeah, warmer the water, the bigger the bass. That's true. We get six months of cold winter, so how can you how can your internet be so good in the middle of nowhere? I'm not really in the middle of nowhere. Minnesota has a lot of lakes, and uh, many of them are by towns, and many of those towns have cell towers. So we live in Georgia, we get monsters. Oh yeah, seems you're in nowhere. Pike and walleye or cold water fish. Yeah. That's why the muskies get so big in Minnesota. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, he's off. No. What was that? See. Oh, it might have been sunny. Love to catch a pike. That was the first fish I caught today. Got a little little baby pike. Snagged him actually. Nice bulge, thank you. The style of fishing looks stressful. Oh, it's fun. 47 inch muskie and a light walleye setup. Yeah, that's always fun. You gotta let it wear itself out. Glass. <laughs> 22 inch pike. I have a clip of uh, I caught a, a, about a 25 inch pike a couple weeks ago, and a 40 inch musky tried to grab it out of my hands. I had it like it was probably right about here, and I was reaching for the pike, and then a musky comes up and tries to grab it. I think that's my like third most viewed clip now. That was crazy. Uh, I've had some pretty angry pike. I've had some 30 inchers that fight pretty well. I'd love to catch grouper. That seems like a blast. They're like big dumb fish that bite anything from what I understand. Oh, thanks, Grangy. Huh, it seems pretty slow over here. I don't know. That guy told me the best spot to catch was over there, but... Do you have one? 
don't know. Well, you're watching that. I'm gonna paddle back across. Pulled in a 40 inch pike and a up a 20 foot dam. Really? That's awesome. Oh, is that the focus? That's so cool. Hey, salty pancakes. Good night. Good night, good sir. We're gonna see if we can catch a 40 inch pike. Ah, oh, breeze feels so good. It feels cold. It feels like a, like a cold north wind. Flat bears, do they? Yeah, that was awesome though. That kind of gave me like musky fever a little bit. I, I went out and bought a bunch of musky baits after that. Yeah. I almost snapped it. I was just trying to catch a bass, wasn't clicking a pike. <laughs> Do you have like an ultralight setup or something? I've seen people do that where they'll have like a little ultralight like panfish setup and they'll get like a 30 inch muskie on or a northern. <laughs> like what do I do? Francie, are you going to fish tomorrow? You said it was raining, right? Yeah, if anyone doesn't follow Granty underscore TV, he fishes as well. He's got a little inflatable device that he fishes from. Hey, Greasy, thanks for the follow. Monday he's going. Monday, Monday, Monday. Hey, R3, thanks for the follow. Look at that sunset, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice night. It was like this the other night too. We had beautiful weather. Do you want to know what a sabiki rig is? No, I don't. As you say, sunset lol. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the delay is between me and chat, but it should be about eight seconds. Try right here. I want some crappie. Ugh. More bass. Rated line does the most stupid stuff, I tell you. God. Those beavers are still at it. My bait came up looking like Chewbacca. There's that turtle again. Keeps trying to figure out what's going on. And it's 
property. Oof. That's why I go outside. Would a bobber with worms work well? Uh, it would catch a lot of sunnies. A lot of sunfish, panfish, bluegill, pumpkin seed, all those type of things. Which isn't really what we're going for, but... Oh, there's, that's a big beaver right there. Damn. Oh, look at him. He's cleaning his teeth. Oh, come on. He's cleaning his teeth. Look at that. You see him? He has his paw on his teeth. That's so cute. Oh, man. That's awesome. He's a big guy. He's got to be the daddy. He's got a long tail. Worry about it. I'm not gonna encroach on your house. Just saying hello. Yeah, he's a full grown beaver. Cool. Their hair is super oily, so it it uh Did you see those reeds move down there? I don't know if you saw that on camera, but the reeds are moving under there like things are going through them. That's cool. Do you remember when we say daubers? Bobber and also cool beaver. What do you say daubers for? Let's see if we can get a better view of the beaver over here. It's beaver Andy. That's a fat beaver, damn. He's a big boy. He's got stuff in his mouth. He's dragging a bunch of, bunch of logs with him. You say dauber instead of bobber? That's interesting. Jumper right there. I don't think I'm chasing him, I think he's just going that way. Hopefully. Big dude, though. All right. Cast a line in here. He's a big guy. What's up, Apple? Apple Jeff? Yeah, beaver's awesome. I'm not a fan of killing them for their fur, but. Hunting is all right if you're going to eat them. I always like to have a good sunset. That was fun. Did I just get noticed? Yeah, you did. Why is that surprising? I am on uh, uh, Otter Lake. It's called Otter Lake because it's filled with beavers. Oh, oh man, did I miss something you said before?
There's nothing worse than a streamer that doesn't talk to chat. You're from Fargo, eh? Fargo, North Dakota, there, eh? My brother-in-law works uh, in the oil industry out there. He goes to Williston all the time. My home lake is filled with beavers this time of year. Yeah, now's the time for them to build prime building season. Did your missus not mind you fishing much? No. Not at all. I'm trying to get her to come out with me though. I'm either going to get a boat or get her a kayak or something. Oh, damn. We had something on. But it was a crappie again. You get these little crappie with paper mouths. Get a boat, man. Thanks for the follow, Kudak and Apple Jeff. Apple Jeff, Apple Jeff, whoa. What the heck was that? Something just made a huge splash. Is that the beaver? He's slapping his tail at me. Sometimes they do that when they get angry. Bugging me to get a pontoon. Yeah, I'd like to get a pontoon actually. Be so easy to stream from. It'd be like the easiest thing ever. I could be grilling and streaming and fishing all at the same time. <laughs> How awesome would that be? <laughs> I could do, oh man, I could catch fish cook them like live. How cool would that be? Oh, we hooked a lily pad. That'd be so fun. Oh man, I could like, I could drive it up to Ontario too and visit you guys. Man, that'd be cool. milfoil stuff is pretty easy to take care of. Man, we gotta catch fish. Enough of all these bites. Do it. Yeah, I'll certainly try. That'd be really fun. I'd love to drive it around and visit people. It'd be a lot of fun. Oh, there's a boat. Yep. It's the first boat I've seen on this lake. Other than the pontoon. Just do it. Hey Jordan, what's up? Do we? Oh yeah. Paroxidic hosted the 30, so that was cool. <clears throat> Look at that sunset. Have you switched from the Ned Rig? Yeah, I was in the almost this exact spot earlier getting Tons of hits. And I just got two hits, but they didn't stick.
Jordan, people are just asking if you're okay with me fishing. Uh, we're on Otter Lake, which is right by Bald Eagle Lake, which is right by White Bear Lake. Hi, VTG in the chat. That's a weird sight. Oh, come on. Crappie must have moved on. Should we try a different spot? Let's go over, uh, let's go over to the, what would it be, the south end? Minnesota. Next to the follow rip. Dan, we're in St. Paul. I dished both of those. You fish both of those? Oh, yeah, man. If you're in St. Paul, the choice for for fishing isn't too big, but... What's he doing, Sensei? <laughs> Best he has much to learn. Uh, I need Grantee to teach me how to teach me his ways. So Grantee's going out on Monday. sure if I'll be going out on Monday. Let's we'll see. Grantee needs to make this channel great again. Is satellite streaming possible? It's possible, yeah. Uh, probably the problem with streaming from satellite, like from a, a mobile satellite, uh, phone would be, I don't know what hardware you would use to do it. You'd have to have like a, a satellite modem to do it probably. Nice lake for Monday, he says. Start your new job at the end of April. This is the spot that the dude uh, who always fishes this lake told me was the best. Jordan wants to groom dogs. Apparently there's pretty good money in grooming dogs. Yeah, she's going from being like a floor manager to dog groom. It's gonna be a change. Whoop. At least our dogs will be groomed now.
Getting sleepy again. You still want to see Jurassic World tonight? Because I do. Go tomorrow. Oh, all right, that's fine. Oh man. Oh. All right, we're gonna switch off the Ned rig. What should we try? The popper. I feel like the popper could be good. I can take Granty. Just hoping all the new fishermen, fishermen provide good fish content and not, not dilute fishing category. Yeah, I don't know. I think the good stuff will float to the surface. You know what I mean? Hopefully. I mean, Alex has been streaming fishing for a year, and it wasn't until he he went and visited with um, train wrecks that it really kind of blew up. So we're gonna try the old popper. Are you really this involved with chat? Yeah, it's not that hard. So cringy to see like a streamer with like 50 viewers who can't even acknowledge a chat message. It takes two seconds. What are you streaming on? I just use a phone with an external battery. That's good enough. I have a wide angle lens. And. Chris the Cleaner is back, everybody. Poggers in chat for Chris the Cleaner. Hey, Sword of Human, what's up? Alright. Yeah, the phone is like maybe three feet away from my head. Three and a half feet. Yeah, I like it too. It's cooler. I do miss my my long hair though and the beard. Yeah, your S7 will definitely work. 1.6, what's up? S7 will certainly work. I'm using a Note 8, it's not far off. Where is that? A wood duck? Yeah, it is. Wood duck. Cool. Wood duck hype. There are like four to five good communities. Yeah, it's really just the tribes of Ludford. That's who I watch who fish, basically. A couple others, but mostly the tribes of Ludford. It's, uh... It's obviously Alec. It's, um... Banjo, Granty, ATV Andy, um, Paroxidic, Chris the Cleaner, a lot of guys. What up, too much? Too much, Bob? God ah, damn, that's a beautiful sunset. Wow. We're gonna go back over this way. These beavers are gonna probably scare away a lot of the bigger fish. But we're gonna go over here. Let me try this popper. I 
Man, that was pretty. Never gets old seeing a nice sunset. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh. Damn, that was a large fish. There's another bass. I'm gonna try right here. That was a big green flash. Yeah, we got five fish so far and a bunch of ton of bites. A bunch of them that are that got on and uh, got off. Right now we're trying to pop her. I've seen so much uh, top water action on this lake. This lake has a ton of insects on it right now, so the fish are really geared towards top water feeding. So we're gonna try this popper. Used to watching popular streamers and talk to the audience. Well, it get, I mean, yeah, it does get tough if you have like 2,000 people, but it's doable. That's what Alex said when he he started getting like thousands of people watching. It kind of sucks because you can't really have a conversation with anyone. But. I actually think this is like the perfect stream size. Like 50 to 100 is absolutely perfect. Hey, thanks for the follow. Too much Bob. Any trailers? Nothing. Alex freaks out way too much. Seven point two kilogram trout yesterday. Nice. Hell yeah. I tried to provide real fish content. Crab Ninja gives a good look at kind of the fishing industry, I think. It depends. Oh, those guys are going right up to the beaver dam. How do I sub with Amazon Prime? I don't know. I think you have to sacrifice a baby to, to Jeff Bezos. He'll grant you a sub to the channel. You're from Norway? Nice. I get a lot of Norwegians in here. So cool. So many Norwegians. Thanks for the follows. I feel like I've seen one fire before. Big hit right there. Holy cow, what was that? Thanks for the follows, guys. One fire, rollers. Oh my guts, I'm gonna cry. We're going right next to the weeds. Wow, oh, we did it. Look at this. Yeah. That's bigger than the last one. Wow. Look at that. Thanks so much, dude. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. Yeah, Grant, he watches a streamer from Norway. <laughs> yes, he does. Thanks so much, dude. Are you part Norwegian at all? Yeah, I'm like six or seven percent Norwegian, according to my DNA test, ancestry test. It's funny though, because I have, it shows how mixed up Europeans are, but I took a DNA test and it was like mostly German and British and Ir Irish, but six percent Norwegian, which is probably the Viking raids. But I have my I have my ancestry data like back to about the 1640s. 
most of my fam family was in Austria, Bavaria, that, that's that area. I think a lot of people from the States are Norwegian. Yeah, German is the most by a big margin. I think like 70% of Americans have some German in them. And then uh, it's, it's pretty much all the European variants. You betcha. Yep. Ufta is my tier three. Or no, it's Skull now. I changed it. It was Ufta. I like Skull better. You're 100% Viking? Nice. I'm a Vikings football fan. As hard as that is. This popper is so fun. Every time you jerk it, it makes a big bubble. Got him. He's spinning. Oh no. <laughs> this is called eyes bigger than your stomach. <laughs> oh man, this poor guy. Poor buddy. Not what I was aiming for. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh, he's off. There you go. I'm bleeding, but he's off. That's easier. He got me. Honestly, that was probably better. <laughs> Oh man, you poked me real deep. Ooh, that hurts. Oh man, ow. I chum the waters with my blood. F. I only got six fish today. Yeah, th this is a very top water centric lake, so we'll see. Well, that's it. No, we're good. What's going on? Oh. Sunnies are hitting this. I'm gonna move over a bit, get out of this. I'm in a little sunny cave right here. Do you generally stay in the same spot or are you drifting? Right now there's no wind, so I'm just sitting. Usually I drift. Wow, that sunset's gorgeous. Holy crap. Look at this. Man. On the Beriva Brew. How about that? That could be a postcard. It looks different on camera than it does in person. It's like, I don't know if it gets the, the color. Ugh, here we go. That's a bit better. Check that out. A bit of nice. Yeah, Chris is a sunset connoisseur, and he always says Minnesota has way better sunsets than than Nevada, so this is why. I 
yeah, in person it's just spectacular. Very nice. Oh, oh did you see that? I might have seen that on camera. Something tried to hit but missed. Here, I'll do this. I'll let you guys watch the watch the lure. Probably, when they hit it, it usually strikes pretty big. So, your sunrise was better. No way. So this popper floats, and you just jerk it around a little bit. You hold your rod and your hands real tight. Oh, something. Something pulled it under. Probably sunny. This lake is so shallow, you have the luxury of it being out this far. It's only five feet right here. Do any good? We got six fish. Nothing to write home about, but new lake, new memes. Oh, we got something? We got weeds. We got weeds. We got milfoil. Right now we're targeting bass with this popper, but I just got a sunfish on it. So crappie could also bite it. One thing about these lakes is you can try and target stuff all day long, but you'll get whatever bites. I've caught catfish on a spoon. I've caught Oh, what else? I've caught crappie on poppers. Ugh. It all depends. You hiked to a little hill this morning for the sunrise. Oh, that's so sweet. So sweet. Chris went out to Reno, Nevada last night on his stream, and that was crazy to watch. Still is a healthy fish. Ah, uh, for top water, still is good. It accentuates the movement, so makes it very obvious. Yeah, that's the number one saying as an attorney. It depends. <laughs> it depends. Everything depends. Man, that's pretty. Even the trees in front of me are pretty from that. Makes them all orange. All right, man, good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Ever chase any muskie? That's the dream, I'd love to so I normally fish on Lake Elmo, that's kind of my go-to lake, and it's a good lake for uh, for muskie, it's just, they're slightly hard to catch. I have a clip uh, that was posted earlier, I think, of, I caught a 25 inch northern and I had a, like about a 40, 45 inch muskie come up and try and grab it out of my hands, but ever since then I've got muskie fever, I went and bought muskie baits. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for hanging out. Friend won the opener this year, not sure what lake near the King Cities. Oh really? Yeah, I'm, I'm around the Twin Cities right now. I live uh, south of Woodbury, Minnesota. So, my lake selection is not huge, uh, but I'm glad I found this one. My god. 
That was glorious. Wow. <laughs> that is moving. Crazy. Look at that. I don't know how well it shows up, but man. It's one of those just perfect sunsets. I'd love to, dude. I'm already... I'm already addicted. <laughs> I'm very addicted already. I'd love to... Probably a... 45, you know, 45 incher would be good out of Lake Elmo. It's roughly what chased my northern. I like pike too. I love uh, I love a good northern pike, man. That's my biggest pet peeve with Minnesota fishing is I've met a lot of people lately who can't stand pike, and I hate it. I hate it so much. They treat them like they're just nuisance fish. So annoying. Yep. We'll see what we can do. I haven't caught anything big out of this lake. Like I said, it's my first time here, and as far as I know, there aren't any big fish in the lake, but at least from what I've seen people say, but we'll see. Yeah, a lot of the musky guys hate catching pike. Yeah, it's like... Jesus. I, I was watching Lunkers TV fishing in... I think he was in Michigan, but he, he pulled up a nice walleye, and he's like, Oh, it's a walleye. Chucks it back. I'm like, what? <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, exactly, but pike get a lot bigger. And they, they do have different behavior. Pike are a bit more, or I'm, I'm sorry, muskie get a lot bigger. Pike are more aggressive. But they're more willing to take chances. Muskie stay in the deep usually. Yeah, they're not, I mean, they, they look similar, but they have different behavior. Yeah. in Michigan. I know, but that just, that surprised me so much. You hear, he's targeting smallmouth bass, so like, I've never seen anyone get a, a walleye and say, oh, a walleye. <laughs> sturgeon. Yeah, sturgeon are fun to catch, they're just tough to catch. We've been live now for three hours, I think. Can I charge my battery so the phone's not dying? I went out yesterday on Bald Eagle Lake and I ran out the phone charge. This is so much fun doing this. Southwest Michigan, nice. Well, if you have a a boat and want to come to the Twin Cities and fish, I'm more than happy to go with you. I don't think we got another Sunny. Got another little guy. These dudes. They don't quit. Oh, at least you bit it in the mouth. They are pretty though. They're beautiful fish. Not a bad little sunny. At least you went for it in the mouth rather than the the body.
Still hunting for that 50 inch. My personal best is 44. Nice. My personal best muskie is probably in the 30s. Nothing huge. There we go. Look at that guy. Oh. Pretty little sunny. Every lake is different. It's so strange. Like a popper like this is. I'm certainly not targeting sunnies. But. Lake is so weird. Average is upper 30s. Hey, Coasty, what's up, man? You just missed the seventh fish of the day. Marcus, how are you? of them. What are we going to do? Bit that one after it was sitting there for a while too. We've had immaculate weather lately. It's been so good. It, and it rained for like last week. It rained for three days straight on the weekend. So this is some some nice stuff. Minor flooding. Angry Angler TV, do you stream as well? Granty TV. Granty, you should change your name to just Granty. That'd be awesome. I'd love to fish Minnesota, a great state for multiple species, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, if you are able to get up to the Mille Lacs area, kind of upper middle of the state, oof, that, that uh, segment of lakes up there is unreal. It's so good. We had lakeshore flooding, that's all. Occasional YouTube video. Oh, nice. I thought about getting into YouTube, but I already spend so much time fishing, the extra time editing would be annoying, I think. I thought about editing my streams down to like a 10 minute video, but yeah. God damn, that's pretty. Wow. Go just editing is a pain. Well, the guy that I, t I spoke to when I got out here said he was out for five hours, I think. And he caught two fish. He had a really nice kayak, but. Get better at it though. Yeah, I mean, I'm already pretty good at editing. I've done a lot of editing before, but I just, I don't know. It would take me probably 45 minutes to go through and edit like a five hour stream. Just be annoying. Thanks for the follow. I'm gonna go try over here. Check out your YouTube channel. Oh, there's a fish just jumped right there. One thing about, I think, streaming fishing that's different is like, it's it's impossible to be disingenuous because I see so many YouTube channels where it's edited in such a way to make it look like, like they're just slamming fish constantly. But... 
And some of them do. Like, I watch Lunkers TV, and he's, he's a pretty good fisherman. Yeah, musky fishing would be very, very boring. That's why I generally don't do it too much on stream. Sometimes I'll pull out the 15-foot depth crankbait and drag it through the weeds, but... There's a hawk. Kitty hawk over there. Oh yeah, it was a gorgeous sunset. Beautiful. We're trying some popper fishing right now, which is this right here. We're putting this bait right around the, the reed line. <laughs> Should I try and change it to Granty? Uh, I would say, I don't know, it, I think simple is always better. It's never easy to tell someone your name is something underscore something else. I don't know, it just does it's not a good, from a marketing standpoint, I don't think it's a good, good idea. But if you like it, you know, it's up to you. Check out the musky flea market. Yeah, I went to Walmart and got a bunch of musky baits. The Walmart I went to had them all on clearance, so I got like a bunch of those $15, um, what are they called? Like the big long treble hook with the, the furry the furry skirt. I can't remember what they're called, but they were like three or four bucks. And I got a couple deep water crankbaits. And a couple big spoons, a couple big minnows. But <laughs> nothing's wrong with underscores. I'm just saying if you're trying to if you're like say say you wanted to tell someone your name like how many underscores do you have is it three I can't even tell it'd be tough you'd be like Kez underscore 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 hey thanks for the follow you know any musky fishermen um not really I don't even know many fishermen honestly around here I kind of I moved back to Minnesota to go to, to school and I picked up fishing really heavily last year so and I just moved to a new town as well south of Woodbury so hockey stud thanks for the follow I think it's four underscores <laughs> so you don't even know <laughs> Chris the Cleaner, check out today's angler. You ever watch uh, Al Linder's Angling Edge? I like that channel too. Yeah, Rocky was out in the Gulf of Mexico. She was being shark bait. Her uncle's always in Muskie Hunters magazine. Thanks for the follow. Did you hear that? Is that a coyote howling? Did you guys hear that howl? I think there's a coyote. Let's go over here. That beaver keeps making a regular trip back and forth <laughs> there's a pile of like a pile of sticks over there that he just keeps grabbing from did this work? yeah it looks like it works, oh are you just granty now? oh man granty man that's gonna be such a brain fart now when I'm saying holy shit what was that big bass just came up right next to my bait lots of western on ones thanks for the follow up Puff Daddy an HD 
He's just granty now. He lost the TV. I think that's a good change though. I like it. More simple. You didn't like the small G? Did you stream ice fishing? I did. Playing Fishing Planet watching me. <laughs> I like that they added kayaks on Fishing Planet now. That was last year, but... The big G! I keep seeing a bass right over there. Thanks for the follow. I have a pretty small channel, but it's called Mitten Bitten Fishing. <laughs> hey, I'll check it out. It's not Angry Anglers TV, that's awesome. Is that the beaver? It is. What is he doing? He's just sitting there looking at me. Hmm. Anyone know what that noise is? I think it's frogs. Gotta be frogs. No, I just changed my name to this fairly recently. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna paddle back over by the boat launch. We're gonna try there for a little bit and hang it up. We're running out of daylight. Ugh. Yeah, they're frogs. Ugh. I what kind of frog. Yeah, feel free to join the Discord. If you got any cool pictures, uh, Angry Angler, post them in the the fish picture section of the Discord. I love seeing people's recent pictures. <clears throat> Bill Dance Hula Popper. No, it's, uh, uh... God, it's old. I got it when I was, like, 13, I think. There's not even a brand name on it. It's not a Bill Dance, I don't know. Damn, it's pretty. The reflection on the water, too. Ooh. Look at that. Let's get one last look. Ugh. Look at that. It looks so much more yellow on camera, but in person it looks way more orange. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, it's the same one, it's SPF 50. I was looking at them at Cabela's and this one was on sale for 15 bucks. And the Cabela's, or the Columbia one was like 40 bucks, so I was like, well that's an easy choice. It's basically the same material. But the Columbia one has way better colors. The black one was on sale because apparently no one wants to buy a black shirt. <laughs> it's comfy though, it's super... Yeah, 15 bucks at the Woodbury Cabela's in Minnesota. I do have a Columbia hat. This hat I like a lot. It's got the American flag with fish. I love that. That's cool. Get the Nike ones when they go on sale. Yeah, it's all the same type of material. You just want it to be like the thinnest possible dry fit material. It's really, it's really just for sunblock. Like it's not. It doesn't make. It doesn't hold heat at all. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't wear hats for the past few years, and I started fishing, and I realized, man, if you. Oof. If you don't wear a hat, it's gonna 
I mean, it keeps you cooler and keeps the sun out of your eyes and stuff. Yeah, I don't like Cabela's for their prices, usually, but they have some good sales. They have good prices on their own brand of stuff. Like the actual Cabela's brand stuff is pretty good, but pretty well priced. Looks like a snack. Is that good? Yeah, the Huck ones, they're awesome. They look really cool, but they're super pricey. I've got a feeling, too, that the reason Cabela's makes these, like, black, like, it says guide wear on here and stuff, but it has this, but it's pretty, it's not flashy at all, which I don't mind at all, but I think the reason they do this is not, like, outshine their competitors that they're also selling, because they want to sell the more expensive shirts, but for 15 bucks, it's a good deal. Yep, and your head doesn't burn. What up, you freeze? It's kind of funny though. You see those Huck shirts and they have like camouflage. Like, what are you? <laughs> what are you hiding from? Hey, fisherman! Thanks for the follow. Got inside. What were you doing? Oh, what are you fishing for? I was fishing for bass, pike, crappie. Got seven fish out here. Well, seven in the boat. We got probably ten total. I caught. I had. I had two bass that bit right about here. They jumped way up and flew off the hook. A couple crappies did the same thing. People say to match the sky and the water. Oh, come on. That's a bunch of BS. They're just trying to look cool. Yeah, fishing for daylight right now. And a nice uh, sunset, though. I'm going to try this popper by these reeds here for a minute. And I mean a literal minute. Are you doing the garage? I still need to do that. We moved into our house in October and I just kind of threw everything into the garage and haven't touched it since. Did your first ever live stream today. Nice man, congratulations. A three panda. My biggest bass this year is a 7.1 pound, 22 and a half inch. Caught it on stream a couple weeks ago, or this week actually. Was it this week or last week? I think it was this week. I don't know, time flies so fast. Thanks for the follow, Goober. Ugh. Make Alec do it. Ever catch a bowfin? No, I was just saying, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen a bowfin before. I was looking at the population of the lake I was going to, and it said it had bowfin, and I said I haven't seen one. That's how it went down, just like that. Alec Ludford. We need to make some sort of tribes of Ludford thing to put below our channels. I started streaming fishing last year in July, or what was it, October? No, August. In July? Late July. And Alec hosted me a bunch, that was super awesome. But that's what got me going. But yeah. Oh, come on. Kind of navigating these weeds. I'm sitting in this gross algae. Do they have teeth? That's good to know. 
I thought they were similar to um, catfish. Yeah, we're basically frogging. We're using a popper. I know, it's great. I realized the other day, like, I'm not, I don't know. Especially after catching that monster bass, like, that was, that's one of those things in your life when, like, you do something your whole life and then you, you catch a big fish like that and it just feels so good. I felt, I think I felt better catching that fish than I did, like, graduating from college. <laughs> as weird as it is. Like, fishing has always been a huge part of my life. I felt so good. Uh, you're headed out west to uh, Muskegon. Muskegon? Are there muskies in Muskegon? Casting out to this wide open spot and just letting it sit. Give me a little tug. First tourney next week, FLW Lake St. Clair. Nice. Schools for bitches. Schools for tools. This is such a weird lake. I don't know why it's so, like, there's nobody here. One one other guy in a kayak here, that's it. Weirdest thing. Huh. We'll do a big cast. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Uh, I've got eight, it's either eight or ten pound spider wire green braid, I can't remember which one. I usually jig, I usually uh, jig fish with the, the Ned rig, like this, something along these lines. So the, the thinner braided line has, you know, drops faster, so it's much nicer for jigging. I have had muskies take my baits, and I've had northern take my bait, but I'm looking into getting some fluorocarbon leaders. Yeah, the smallies love the finesse worms. How relaxing is it there? Very relaxing. Look at this water. Super calm. until I hear a splash. Use 80 pound green braid. Jesus. When you're musky fishing? Yeah, like I know when you're down in Texas and places like that where you get those big logs in the water, you really want probably 20 or 30 pounds so you can get like, you know, the snags off without losing everything, but nine foot XXX heavy. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I'll check out your videos. I'm excited to see that set up. I was watching a dude on YouTube today who was musky fishing in a kayak like this, and he's got almost like a medium type setup, but. He was pulling in 41 inch musky. I can't remember what the channel was. I'll post it in the Discord later, but. Pretty cool. Yeah, the musky really come out at night. Ooh, there's a big heron. I've been fishing out on Lake Elmo and I'll be throwing a Ned rig and uh, all of a sudden my rod will just bend and then it'll snap. 
like the rod won't snap, but what the heck? My bait will snap off, and it's just like, oh, there's a muskie. Goodbye, Ned Rig. Thanks for the follow, CB FTBH. Streaming setup? Yeah, it's just a phone. If you go to gunrun.com or gunrun, was it gunrun.net or something, just Google gunrun. We've got a phone streaming setup. Similar to that. You can get them on later gear, but it's much harder. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's not going to be calm here in about three, two, one. Holy crap, there's all these bubbles coming up now. That's crazy. You see all the bubbles? That ripple effect like released so much oxygen. That's really crazy. I've been seeing weird lake phenomena the past few days. I was out on Lake Elmo and these huge schools of crappie started coming up. Just right around the kayak. They would just sit at about right surface level with their top fin above the above the water. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I just pulled the white piece off. Damn, rip. It's been on there for ages. Yeah, that was a boat. A guy coming into the boat launch. Might be time to retire this popper. Here, actually, before I go, I'm going to put the, the Ned rig back on. Let's see. Why do heck is up with this? Braided line acts in mysterious ways. Cause, uh, Cause they're all polluted from 3M. Oh yeah, I'm well aware, believe me. I am well aware of that situation. Very, very aware. You're not cold? No, it's nice. It's actually a little warm. I'll wait till that guy gets his boat out. I'll throw the Ned Rig in, in a little bit. Hey, thanks for the host. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Idaho, everybody. What's going on? Welcome to the lake. Yeah, it's beautiful. The sun just went down. Oh, I gotta redo this. Wreck. Wow. Oh, Rotex. Uh, Look at this. Yeah. That's bigger than the last one. Wow. Look at that. Thanks so much, dude. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the Mark host. Mark Skywalker. There are too many of them. Yeah, we're on what are we lake. going to do? Otter Lake, Minnesota. It's right near White Bear Lake. Thanks so much for the sub, Rotax. I still gotta... I gotta message you back about your dad's resort or whatever that was. I'm gonna have some free time here next week. So strange, 10.30 here and dark, still light there. It probably looks a little 
a little bit brighter on camera than it is. Let's try this. I'm probably going to get every weed in existence. It's 921 and still, yeah, time zones. Just like aliens. They're a mystery. Who's that who hosted N Squared? Thanks so much for the host. Appreciate it. Yeah, it just didn't turn less. Yeah, didn't it just turn summer? Supposedly. How's it going, Justin? Aliens <laughs> where? I'd love to do that. Maybe I'll do that this summer. I want to plan a trip, like a camping trip, kind of a week long thing. I was thinking about. So, Granty and Mickey's live in Ontario. And I was thinking about driving up there and fishing in that part of the world. That'd be fun. I could do like a week long stream. That'd be a ton of fun. Ugh. Let's scout around and see what we can do for next time. I'm definitely going to uh, come back to this lake. Just don't fish on my part of Lake Erie. <laughs> this is my land. My lake. Yeah, time zones are a myth, actually. The Earth is flat, okay. Granty, formerly Granty underscore TV, now just Granty, told me so. Chris the Cleaner always says, Minnesota has the best sunsets and the earth is flat. Every time. Yeah, feel free to join the Discord. That's where I update, usually on kind of scheduling with when I'm going out. Port Clinton? Is in Hillary Clinton? man, I tell you. Oh, beautiful night. You live outside of Toledo? What is Toledo like? Is it, is it like, uh, Cleveland? Your dad works for Bill Nye. <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. What's been going on, Justin? I haven't seen you lately. You're in that Twitch team that I'm in, right? The Minnesota Nice or Minnesota Streamers. This is so freaking nice, man. Just the smell of campfires. I'm gonna go out here and throw the Ned rig out in the middle outside of these weeds. Work and go into the cabin. Uh, you don't stream much, been working two jobs. Oh, damn. Well, you gotta afford the cabin somehow. cabin doesn't pay for itself. What's up with that rough cast? Huh, I'm gonna re-spool this I think tonight. Oh, we got something? 
Oh. Weeds. Yep. The elusive weed fish. The vegan fish. Thanks for the follow, Nathaniel. Uh, what about... Whereabouts is the cabin? Lake Osakis. Hell yeah. Lake Alexandria. My whole family lives in Alexandria and Brandon, Minnesota. Or my extended family, that is. Like my dad's side of the family. That's a really nice area. Super nice. Hey, P.T., thanks for the follow. You're closer to there, 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, Alexandria. Yeah, I'd love to go visit Alec. I actually might be going there. I want to talk to my uncle. He's got a house on a lake and some boats. I want to see if I can fish with him sometime. All 24 years of my life, nice. Noise. This is like the, probably one of my favorite times to be on the lake right now. Almost dark, super calm. What data service do you use to prevent throttling? T-Mobile. <clears throat> Hey, the legendary thanks for the follow. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Something else is caught in the spool. John, thanks for the follow. Hey, so many follows. Yeah, for sure. That sunset was gorgeous, though. Well, I think we're going to hang it up and head back. Since I don't have a light, it's about to get pretty dark. Oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, I was saying, it's been great. Like, we had that, that stretch of rain for like three or four days. And this is very welcome. It's kind of hazy though too, like, like there's no clouds over the, over the moon, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it's hazy. It's weird. It smells like smoke too, I don't know if there's like a, a Canadian forest fire or what, but. Hi. How are you? A real ruthless one. Especially on the weekends, the rain all. Yeah, last weekend sucked. It was so rainy. I went out, I think I ended up going out Saturday. I think Saturday night was the only time it didn't rain. I went out to Elmo. Yeah, Canada's always burning down. Canada's like our campfire air freshener from the north. Same with like California now. Seems like Colorado, Nevada, California, they're always burning. Sucks. What up, living for the... Living for the mojitos? <laughs> How long have you been fishing? I've been live for... Uh, God, the text of the screen is orange. Three hours and 40 minutes. Beautiful evening out here. We're on Otter Lake. Minnesota, near White Bear Lake. Did you hear that, that uh, heron? Absolutely beautiful evening. This is what you live for. So it's fish population wise, I think this lake has a lot of small fish, 
I know I've, I talked to that guy when I got here and he said he, he's caught multiple four or five pound bass, but I'm guessing they're pretty low population in this lake. I don't know. You never know though, I didn't fish all the way down at the north end of it, so maybe we'll do that next time. That sounds like fun. But, I would say there's 12,000 lakes in Minnesota, so no reason to get hung up on just one. If you're willing to drive a couple hours, you can hit so much water in the state. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, my goal is just to show, show fishing to people. That's all it is. And have someone to talk to while I fish. <laughs> So it's always nice too. Boom. Go north, young man. Throw a cast right there. Yeah, I could. Oh, let me pull the kayak up and I'll do one off the shore. Oh, man. See the side. Try one more off the side. The boat launch. So we're fishing off the shore. Man, it is standing up is much nicer as far as getting control. Pretty shallow right there. All right, let's find somebody to host. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the donations and subs and follows and stuff. Shinkya, shinkya. That's your big Alec host. What do you mean with the Alicoast? Like initially? I meant like when I first started streaming last year, Alicoasted me a lot. Not today. But yeah, Alec's a great guy. Let's find somebody to host. Whew. Who's live? Plebo. <laughs> Should host Plebo. He's hosted me a couple times. <laughs> Real Shook. Is he fishing? I don't think Shookin's fishing. Let's host Plebo. He's a cool dude. He's hosting me a lot. Go go uh say hi to this guy. Oh man, I'm getting torn up by mosquitoes. Whew. Oh, for Rocky Lou, gotcha. Oh. Alright, slash host. Plebo. Go say hi. Tell him Kevin says hello. Ask him why he's not fishing, right? <laughs> Go in there and say, hey, why aren't you out fishing? Why aren't you out fishing? <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. I'll be out probably tomorrow or Monday. Uh, join the Discord to get schedule updates. Love you guys. Thanks so much.